Okay, so we got three clues, or three caskets. I do not know why they're not stacking. They are the same ID. But either way, let's open them. Uh, nothing from that one. Oh, nice, our first uh, dehyde piece. Serodomen, nice. And uh, some stuff, but nothing too interesting. Still, I'll take it. First clues, really. All right, so I just kind of power fished for the masturbator achievement while I've been AFK and doing some other stuff. Uh, yeah, 100 pearls and two elite clues. Got a couple other clues, too. I'll, I'll do them all and we'll, uh, we'll see if we can get anything from them. Okay, so we got a couple clues. Let's do them. Two mediums. <laughs> Cash. Nice. Uh, nothing too interesting. We'll go with the hards. Zami page. Oh, nice. Those are pretty good right there. Go to d boots. Cash. Fun. We already have a top, but I'll take Armadillo top for sure. All right, our two elites. <laughs> Uh not too great from the elites, but hey, I will uh, overall I'll take it with the dehyde boot upgrade, which I should not be able to wear, but I can. Nice. All right, so I just finished the Hell's Kitchen, which is three thousand fish. Got the uh, crystal staff upgrade and our mystery box. Uh, eh, easy clue, probably not uh, that great. We also always get some cash with the mystery box. So that's not bad at least. Just doing some wood cutting, working on the lumberjack achievement. Um, I'll probably go back to use in a second, but I just want to show off this spot. If you have access to the donator zone, which is just five dollars spent, uh, you can you can actually use this area. It's just miscellaneous, etc., in the dungeon below it, and sort of some of the areas around it. But uh, the trees do function like normal trees. They you know you don't in the normal game you wouldn't get the logs, but in here you would. And then there's also a bank deposit box. I'll add a banker just for. Um, just so you can actually have a banker but okay so we finished the lumberjack achievement and uh, I already opened the mystery box on accident got trousers uh, I'll take them <laughs> trousers are always uh, not bad I'll take them and then you also get uh, two clues which uh... please hit one more is that it yeah <laughs> Wee! Alright, that's cool. We also got the achievement for uh, Last Wave as well. Alright, we just got the Comrade one, the uh, aerial fishing one. So that's uh, the reward is 50 Mosh Pearls, or, or Mulch Pearls, or whatever they're called. Uh, this is how, what you do to get the Angler outfit. So we already have 150. Keep doing this, and I'm going to finish getting the full set. So this achievement's pretty easy. Just get an apron and 40 fucking crafting. <laughs> If you're wondering how to get some really quick crafting levels, uh, you can trade this person, buy flax or wool, and spin it right here and then just drop it. It's probably not worth it to go to 99 unless maybe you're an initiate, but it, it's going to get some fast levels. We can get to 40. Okay, now we go through. Yeah, did we do it? Yeah, what do we even get from that? Oh yeah, molten glass and some sa oh, sapphire, some good crafting supplies, not bad. Also, nice thing is you don't actually need anything to use the bank chest, so... E. Decided to get my magic up, so I figured I would do the runecrafting achievement. Runecrafting is now magic activity. I've said it a million times, but just kind of trying to hammer it in there. Uh, so we ended up getting 61 magic from making the... It's one of these achievements. Brain... Oh, I've completed it. That's why I can't see it. Uh, yeah, so... Got this one done. On to the next one. And here we have the Jungle Demon. This is a pretty easy one. Just never really needed the Dragon Skimitar, so I figured I would just uh, do it now. Yeah, five mil cash though. That's nice. So I'm not sure when we'll actually get it. I think we'll get it once we collect it. But this is the Motherload achievement. Yeah. Let's go collect it. And yeah, we got the money. Yeah. Nice. Yo, so I'm doing the uh, achievement for, uh, what is it, uh, Codebreaker right here, the wall safes. I'm almost done, and we just got an Onyx. That's actually pretty cool. That uh, I mean, we're going to have to get a really high crafting level to do anything with it, but that's nice. There's our first Onyx unlocked. And there we go. We have Codebreaker done. We got the Mystery Box. Uh, nice, Spirit Shield. Uh, that's cool. It's actually my best shield, to be honest with you, so I'll take that. Let's check out these gym bags. Uh, bunch of gems. Nice. 
Okay, so with this inventory, that should be the smithing portion of the gold ore. I ended up getting some gold from uh, Motherload Mine. That's why I have more smelted than I do mined. I'm going to go power mine this last bit, and then this achievement should be done. And there it is. 50 mil cash and a Mr. Bucks. 100 oak planks. I will actually take that. I like that. Don't mind. Working on my Dragon Defender. Got the uh, adamant right now. It's moving along pretty quick, so shouldn't take too long. And nice, there's the Rune Defender. Let's go get our Dragon. And there we go, Dragon Defender. Not bad at all, so we can get back to training. So these are new NPCs that were added in the last update. They're found in the Don't Eater Zone called Wealthy Tourists. You can pickpocket them. They have they require, I believe, 60 thieving. And I'll show you why I want to pickpocket them in a second. So there is one of the things that I'm interested in. They have a rare chance of giving you a prayer potion, so that's actually pretty nice right there. And then they also have a small chance at a Ranar seed. So I'm definitely going to get these a little bit, get a couple Ranar seeds, go and plant them. Just kind of want a, a little supply of prayer pots. Obviously, I have the levels to farm and make them, but I don't have any seeds. So uh, hopefully we can get some from this. I thought I'd probably do. Got some money. All right, so that'll probably do. We got some money and uh, six Ranar seeds. Gonna go plant these, and uh, you know we have these prayer pots for now. I'm working on Slayer 68 at the moment. Uh, I'm gonna go actually get a black mask and Slayer helmet before I continue. But uh, yeah, the plan is to just get to 85, so we can start working on the demons achievements. I know I'm mostly working on achievements. This is a max video, but obviously we're gonna go for completionist cave. We're gonna we're gonna do everything we can possibly do in the entire game, and so. Um, I don't mind that. And it gives us a nice sense of direction. We can sort of mix it up, you know, get our skills. Like Almost all of my skills trained are basically towards achievements or just kind of AFK or something like that. But uh, we're, they're coming along. We're making progress. Only have one one left, and it's just construction. Once we do uh, some winter top, we'll probably get some early free construction levels. Yo, Black Mask. I think that's actually my first yell drop. Like, my first yell drop or, like, Discord announcement drop. I don't think I've ever gotten anything else. Uh, that's awesome. Nice. I, it did take quite a while. I don't know if you saw what, what prayer potions I had, but... E. And so with these bones, I should have 70 prayer. You can now use piety. That's pretty nice. Okay, so I just did my 10th uh, task, and with the uh, Slayer Point bonus, we have enough points to get our Slayer Helm. Yeah, how do I make this thing? Like that? I Son of a bee. I feel like it's always crafting. Okay, we got a 55 crafting. I don't know if I'm missing anything. Am I missing something? No, we're not. Nice. Slayer Helm. Yeah. Nice. I'm actually just doing some Slayer, and I finished the Demonic Achievement. So there's another achievement done. I think you just get some cash and then a uh, Dark Light, uh, which, you know, it's nice. Now we can use that. Nice. So it took me a long time. You can see my KC, 152 KC, Dragon Boots. These things are super messed up, so kind of made it easy, but, uh, hey, oh shit, they're gonna attack me now! <laughs> uh, nice, D-Boots unlocked. Uh, only two levels to go, and we're gonna get our whip. Alright, so I just got 85 Slayer Gargoyles. I figure since I'm already here, we might as well finish up the rest of this inventory at Abyssal Demon. So begins the journey. Let's see how long it takes to get this whip. Still no whip, but we are about to get 99 strength. This will actually be our first 99, so that's kind of nice. Uh, it is also nice that I ended up getting 99 strength, like, right as we're about to get a whip, so that's pretty cool. Yay! First 99, woo. Woo, we also now finally get adventure points, too, so that's, that's fun. And we can train on attack. And whip! How perfect would that, how perfect would that have been? Damn. Hey, there we go. I literally just said something in the chat. 425 demons, no whip. I think we got it on 426, so that's all I gotta do. Complain a little bit. Works every time, right? There we go. Nice. First of all, probably gonna kill a little bit more just to get the achievement since I'm already, like, doing them. Uh, but, yeah, we're, you know, we got 70 more. And there we have the void achievement. I'm actually gonna wait to open this box because in the update Friday they're going to get some changes so might as well wait and open it then. So one thing that came out in the last update is you can now make the Master Abyssal Whip. You just take your Cape of Masters, use it on a whip, and boom. It uh, is the same thing. It doesn't have spec yet. I need to add the spec back, but uh, it has the same stats and everything and uh, it's white, fancy, looks cool, goes good with the cape. Yeah. 
So I'm getting carried through a raid with a uh, pro team right here. They know exactly what they're doing, and I obviously have no clue what I'm doing, but it uh, should be a good, uh, a good way to learn and see if there's anything that needs to be changed. And, uh, you know, who knows? Maybe we'll get spooned something crazy on our first kill or first loot or whatever. Okay, so this thing is almost dead, at least I think, right? This thing has so many phases, and I don't understand the logic of exactly how it ends. This is like one of my first ever raids, really. Oh, nice! Uh, Gilded Iron got an Arcane Prayer School. That's cool. I'm glad I didn't get anything. It definitely would have been undeserved. Well, let's see what we do get, though. Wow, that is a lot of planks. Damn, we are set up for a long time with those. I will take it. That's awesome. I mean... Did, did, I, did I take it? Do I have to? I do have to take it. Okay, cool. 